Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the correct views. Oh my, if you are squeamish, you are not going to want to watch the video that I have coming for you. I mean, we're going to Painville. Ouch. CBS Sports, Chris Bassett suffers facial fracture after getting hit with a 100 mile an hour, it's actually 101 mile an hour line drive. Ace pitcher has normal vision. He'll undergo surgery once the see. He's so swelled they can't even do surgery. Friends, this is painful. And I mentioned this because I'm, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be covering baseball or any sports at all. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with the kneeling. I've always been a Patriots fan. I, I don't I don't talk about it on here anymore. Somebody wants to take me to a football game, I'll go, but I haven't gone since they've uh, started the kneeling. I haven't pushed it. I have not been making jokes about it when I'm on the mic and my other job where I am uh, MC, DJ, no, nothing. And I'm done with baseball after this year because of the Cleveland Indians. I'm not a Guardians fan. I'm an Indians fan. It is not offensive. It was uh, named as a term of endearment to, I think, the first or one of the first Indians to ever actually play the game. And I wrote a whole report on him a few years ago with the Conservative Daily Post. I don't know if it's still up, but search my name, Conservative Daily Post, Cleveland Indians, it should come up. Um, I'm done. I'm absolutely done. However, the, 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 uh, a scary moment took place in Chicago's guaranteed rate field on Tuesday night. What a stupid name. In the bottom of the second inning, White Sox batter Brian Goodwin sent a rocket toward the mound, and Oakland A's starter Chris Bassett got hit with it in the side of the head. The line drive was 100.1, oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong, 100.1 miles per hour off the bat, and it didn't appear that Bassett got a glove on it. It wasn't a glancing blow either. It just struck Bassett squarely on the right side of the face and in the upper cheek. Poor guy didn't even lose consciousness. He got to feel all that good joy. He was moving around, though not much. I'd imagine not. And he never removed the towel from his head or face. No, because people like me end up putting him on the news. I don't blame him. The A's said that Bassett was conscious and aware. Oh, that's awful. And his left eye, well, I mean, I don't want him to be brain damaged. That's not what I mean. I just mean it's awful that he had to suffer through all that. And he left the stadium for the hospital on Tuesday night. The White Sox ended up winning 9-0 over a visibly shaken A's crew. There was a dark cloud around the game the whole time, La Russa said. On Wednesday, the Athletics released an update. Uh, he suffered a facial fracture, though his vision was not damaged. That's wonderful for the pitcher. He'll have surgery in a few days, but he's too swelled for it to happen. Um, he was released from Rush University medical center last night his doctor was tom sawyer i'm kidding rush university he received stitches for two facial lacerations and was diagnosed with a displaced tripod fracture on the right cheek ah! which will require surgery an exam of his right eye was normal for vision and no da other damage is currently noted in the eye or in the orbital bone thank god in addition, a head CT scan revealed no further injury, which is good. He didn't get concussed. We are grateful to the White Sox, their medical staff, and yeah, of course they are. Um, what else are they going to say? Um, all right, friends, this, I'm warning you, this is... Ow! I'm trying to full screen it further, I'm not sure it's going to let me. Back to Bassett! Oh. Did you hear that hit? Was the, the, hit, the crack of the bat and I'm going to turn it up a little bit. The crack of the bat, and then you'll hear it hit his poor cheek. Back to Bassett. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Oh, boy. What's up? You saw Ouch. Bob Melvin ask Matt Olson where it hit him, man. Matt Olson pointed to his ear. Saying Nick Paparesta, the A's, oh. trying to get some help from somebody from the White Sox dugout as well. 
So an incredibly scary moment here in Chicago. Imagine being the poor batter. Extremely fortunate. I mean, you don't want that. To, you don't want this to happen. I mean, the batter has to feel horrible. Closer to the side of the head. Hey, that's when you take a knee. Look at that, Democrats. That's when you take your knee, you dolt. You freaking idiot. Closer to the side of the head. Now the towel is clearly kind of covering the right side of his face. I don't know if we'll be able to see oh. closer on these replays. Well, just take a look at what you want to see, but... Well, no, he did not. Did you see? He did not get a glove on that side of the face. Miserable, miserable. In other news, I don't know if you heard it or not. Brett Favre is saying that younger children should not play tackle football because I don't know how many concussions I may have had in my life. There are risks, Brett. There are risks. I hate to be the one to tell you that, but there are risks. I'm a skateboarder. Don't tell me I don't know. I got a concussion uh, going down a hill. I didn't know what speed wobble was. I found out. For those of you that don't know, if you go down a hill with great speed on a skateboard, no matter how tight the trucks are, which hold the wheels on, they're called trucks, no matter how tight the trucks are, no matter how good the bushings are, There'll be, your board will start to wobble. Well, I didn't know this. And I went down this hill and blam, and head first, scooted on my head, and then landed, you know. Blah, 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 blah. It happened. I was into half pipe, uh, mini halves usually. I've only been on a, one really big one. I loved it. But uh, launch ramps was my forte, by the way. I was very, very good at launch ramps. To this day, I still snowboard. You know what? There are risks. We cannot continue to sissify every damn thing in this country. We can't. That said, you know, maybe you might want to think about putting some kind of optional, of course, uh, give some, block some of the risk from this. But the idea that we're not going to play sports, that Brett Favre's afraid that a 14-year-old can tackle another 14-year-old, you know what? That has been the risk of sports for good. You want to get into a sport, those are the risks that you get in. I took a uh, Hoshin Soul in Taekwondo, which are ground, Korean ground grappling, and of course you know what Taekwondo is. And I banged myself in the head with nunchucks. I've had people, I've tried to get out of a hold, and I didn't get out of it in time, and hyperextended my elbow, and it's fine now. Things happen. God willing, let's hope nothing happens like that again in the near future. You with me? Indeed. Thanks for listening, friends. Good night. God bless.